Well, you may have heard by now that the new Batgirl movie that was supposed to go straight to HBO Max has been canceled, but the new CEO for WB has given us a very good reason on why it's canceled. And honestly, as a DC fan, I'm not hating on the reasoning. And honestly, it kind of excites me for what's to come. Now, Batgirl is one that I was really looking forward to seeing more so because Michael Keaton's Batman was supposed to make a return. Now, I'm not going to lie. That really is what had me wrapped up into wanting to see this movie. A Batgirl movie could be good, but didn't really grab my interest. Now, the thing about this is that there was supposed to be a lot of tie-ins between Batgirl and The Flash, possibly Aquaman too. So canceling the Batgirl movie it left a lot of questions. Now, recently, if you haven't been aware of, there has been a change of CEO in WB. The new CEO, I'm going to let you try to pronounce his last name, David Zaslav. I'm, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. He is trying to take DC into a whole new direction. Let's be honest, Marvel really has a good a grasp on how to make a good superhero movie. DC, unfortunately, hasn't really had that luck. I like the DC characters, and unfortunately, I have to admit, they haven't been making good movies. The new CEO is looking to change that. And in doing so, he felt the need to cancel Batgirl and two other movies. One of which was Scoob Holiday Haunt, which was an animated movie that was supposed to come out. And the new Wonder Twins movie was canceled. Now, according to Collider, this is what the new CEO had to say. The objective is to grow the DC brand and the characters, but just as importantly, to protect the DC brand. We're not going to put a movie out unless we believe in it, particularly with DC. We're not going to release a film before it's ready. Now, basically, what he's trying to say is, although we have $90 million wrapped up into this movie, there's still a couple million dollars that go into promotions. And he feels that where the movie is now is too good to be dropped on streaming, but not good enough to go to theatrical release. Even if you have $100 million into the movie, it may take another $100 million to make it theatrically ready, if that makes sense. So he's saying he would rather take what he has, put another $100 million into it to make it worth seeing in the theater, something that can compete with Marvel. And that's the goal that he wants. He doesn't want something that's just going to be okay as a movie and drop it on HBO Max because, you know, he wants bigger. He has a bigger, broader goal for DC, and I applaud that. So... Although I'm sad to see the movie be canceled, I'm very excited for what he has planned in the future. He also said that Black Adam, Shazam Fury of the Gods, and The Flash were really good movies, but he could make them better. Now, they are still scheduled to be released in the theaters. Um, there is no change there. They're not pushing it back. They're not canceling them. They're all staying the same, but... There may be some changes to them. Maybe he'll do a couple reshoots. Maybe he'll throw an extra couple million dollars in some CGI changes. I don't know. But I think what's going to happen as far as Batgirl is concerned, they may take it and then just continue filming it down the road and then release it even bigger in the theaters in a couple years. That's my thoughts. But the reasoning behind all this is really good and really exciting if you're a DC fan. I've been really waiting for a new Superman movie. I really want to see one. I'm hoping we get that. Supergirl, that being said, leaves question on whether or not that's going to get canceled. Are they going to just throw more money at it, make a bigger theatrical release, or are they going to scrap it and start fresh? So now I want your thoughts and comments down below on Batgirl being canceled, along with Wonder Twins and the new Scoob movie. Do you agree with the reasoning? Do you think they should have just thrown it out anyway? Or does it make more sense to just make it bigger and better and release it later down the road? Especially when you have goals of making DC bigger and better in the long run. 
Do me a favor, drop a like on the video on your way out. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm Kevin, and I'll see you at the concession stands.